If you look into a pond, you may see a few living things like fish, or lily pads, or maybe even some frogs. But, if you were to scoop a sample of that water and view it with a microscope, you would see thousands of microscopic life. Microscopic life is anything that is living that can be viewed only with a microscope things like Daphnia, Amoeba or Paramecia. This lesson will look at the parts of a microscope so you can learn how to view this tiny world. You may have seen a microscope on a TV detective show, but after this lesson you'll be a pro at knowing what each part does. So, let's take a look, pun intended. Most important, always carry your microscope by the carrying handle. Picking it up by any other part will damage the microscope. Then plug it into an outlet and flip the switch to on. You will know your microscope is on because the light will be shining. The light sits at the bottom of the microscope and directs light up through an image towards your eye. The parts of the microscope. The three basic structural components of a compound microscope are the head, base and arm. The base of the microscope supports the microscope and houses the illuminator. Arm connects to the base and supports the microscope head. While most people picture the compound model from lab class when they think of microscopes, many types of microscopes are actually available. Head body houses the optical parts in the upper part of the microscope. These useful devices are employed by researchers, medical technicians and students on a daily basis, the type they select depends on their resources and needs. There are six types of microscope in the world. The first one is the simple microscope. The simple microscope is generally considered to be the first microscope. It was created in the 17th century by Antony van Leeuwenhoek, who combined a convex lens with a holder for specimens. Magnifying between 200 and 300 times, it was essentially a magnifying glass. While this microscope was simple, it was still powerful enough to provide Van Leeuwenhoek information about biological specimens, including the difference in shapes between red. The second is compound microscope. With two lenses, the compound microscope offers better magnification than a simple microscope. The second lens magnifies the image of the first. The third one is stereo microscope. The stereo microscope, also called a dissecting microscope, provides magnification of up to 300 times. These binocular microscopes are used to look at opaque objects or objects that are too large to be viewed with a compound microscope. The fourth one is canthical microscope. Unlike stereo and compound microscopes, which use regular light for image formation, the confocal microscope uses a laser light to scan samples that have been dyed. These samples are prepared on slides and inserted. Then, with the aid of a dichromatic mirror, the device produces a magnified image on a computer screen. 